Meghan Markle and Prince Harry Sussex Royal Foundation still owes a not-for-profit enterprise £78,500, it has been reported. The Sussexes' former charitable foundation has officially entered the process of solvent liquidation and been renamed the Markle Windsor Foundation MWX, following their decision to step back from their royal duties. Harry and his wife Meghan Markle announced on January 8 last year that they would step back from senior positions within the firm following talks at Sandringham with Prince Charles, Prince William, and the Queen. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have since relocated with their son, Archie, to California, where they have since been joined by newborn daughter Lilibet. Following the move, the couple agreed to no longer use the word royal in conjunction with their work and so the foundation was renamed. Now Mail reports that a creditor, whose identity is not known, made a claim for £213,000 following the charity's liquidation, but has so far only been paid back £134,500. The company was dissolved on August 5, 2020, with Prince Harry saying at the time that all of its debts would be paid up in full in 12 months. Mail Online reports the hold-up is down to the Charity Commission's now-closed investigation into MWX. The probe was over how it transferred £151,855 to Harry's sustainable travel outfit Travelist. Charity Commission investigators found it had done nothing wrong in May this year. MWX's liquidator Adam Stevens said, We have received claims totaling £213,000 from one creditor, being in relation to the grant due to a not-for-profit enterprise. This claim has been admitted in full and part paid in the sum of £134,500 during the reporting period. The charity has sufficient funds to settle the claim in full and final dividend is to be made shortly to pay the remaining balance. There were sufficient funds to enable the claim received in the liquidation to be settled in full within 12 months of the liquidation. However, during the liquidation period the Charity Commission requested information concerning the charity and this was provided. The inquiries have now been finalized. HMRC has provided tax clearance and the final dividend will shortly be paid to the unsecured grant creditor. Accounts expert Rob Leach told Mail Online, the company has admitted the claim in full and have paid just over half of it and they say they are going to pay the rest. It could even have been paid by now. This one creditor, they are entitled to a grant from the charity. In liquidation you have to pay all your bills. As this is a voluntary liquidation they have enough to pay everyone. Another news, relations between the Duke of Cambridge and the Duke of Sussex have been strained for the past couple of years, but according to a source in an updated royal biography, Prince Harry's two visits to the UK have broken the ice. It has been claimed in the new epilogue for Finding Freedom that Harry booked a one-way ticket to the UK when he returned for his grandfather the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral in April. Cameras picked up the first face-to-face -face conversation between Harry and William following the service at St George's Chapel in Windsor, and the brothers were pictured walking together. The book claims at least two further conversations took place between the brothers during Harry's eight-day trip, according to sources. William and Harry were also reunited to unveil a statue of their late mother, Diana, Princess of Wales at Kensington Palace Gardens on 1 July, to mark what would have been the royal's 60th birthday. Finding Freedom claims that Harry chatted with his father Prince Charles at a small outdoor gathering at Windsor Castle after Prince Philip's funeral. In his interview with Oprah Winfrey in March, Prince Harry admitted things were strained between them saying there is a lot to work through with Charles. The Duke of Sussex was also able to reunite with his great-grandmother, the Queen, during his time in the UK. To see each other after so long apart, the longest he hadn't seen the Queen for, was very special, a source told the book's authors Omid Scobie and Carol Durand. When Finding Freedom was published last August, a spokesperson for the couple said at the time, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were not interviewed and did not contribute to Finding Freedom. This book is based on the author's own experiences as members of the Royal Press Corps and their own independent reporting.